All right, guys, so what we're doing here today, we're cleaning a glass top stove, and we're pretty much just getting any contaminants that's on the top off. Um, we're gonna be doing a special uh, coating Sorry, not a coating, uh, cleaning. So make sure you clean the top well first. Um, also, before you can do this, you have to remove any debris that's on the glass. Now you can use a razor blade, but you gotta be careful that you don't scratch the top. Now using a razor blade, I like to use a little bit of soap. It makes it slide a little bit easier. And this is so that when you're doing refinishing the top, which is gonna be that, you don't actually scratch um, the glass. You, you don't wanna to rub too hard, meaning anything that is hard into the glass you could actually scratch the glass. So, angle the blade pretty good so you can pretty much just remove the hard food particle contaminants that have been baked onto the surface. Um, so, I won't do the whole thing. Um, I'll just do a portion and then I'll cut to the actual refinishing of the glass. So we're going to do this top. Um, the rest of them aren't bad, but I'll make sure I check all of them and we'll see before and after. Alright guys, so we're doing a glass top restoration and this stuff is called Diamond Shine, okay? And cleans with the power of diamonds. So basically what it does, it resurfaces the finish, literally etches it. So all this is just from when you cook and you leave the pot sitting on there and over time what it does it literally etches the glass so we're going to do a refinish on it now when you apply this stuff You want to put some pressure, but not too much pressure.
All right, that's the first pass. And you can actually see pretty good difference already. And that's the first pass. We're gonna go a little bit smoother. Let's put you right in that area. I might actually redo another pass over that just to get some of this rough spots down. You can actually redo the whole top if yours is bad and to clean it, but make sure you get all the hard, heavy stuff off. Make sure your drill is in clockwise. The other way will remove it. And wherever the most uh, contamination is, you can concentrate a little bit more there, but you wanna keep the drill or keep your hand moving. right now pretty much a polisher as you can see definitely getting better in fact before and after it's night and day stuff works guys now don't forget make sure you gotta shake the stuff okay I already shook it but always keep it shaken now this is a polisher this will bring out any other uh, basically bring the luster Make sure that you keep enough product on the pad so if it gets a little bit you know don't be sparing you, this is what actually does cutting it's diamond literally it's cutting the glass so you have to make sure you keep enough on there
Not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, pretty impressed. So what I'm going to do the rest of the glass, I'm actually going to do a quick run over the entire top. The rest of it's not too bad. I just wanted to do this side. Um, we do have this for sale, so I like it to look nice when we sell them. And that's not bad. That's uh, pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching.